All right, if you're going to get into the PCP game, you're going to need a compressor, obviously, to get your PCP pressures up to 4,500 PSI. One of the best ways to get into PCP is with a 12-volt portable PCP compressor. And probably the best choice out there as far as value is the PCP Kong Littlefoot 2.0 from Donnie FL. Donnie FL is known for offering quality, and he just has a good reputation in the air gun business. And when they made the little foot compressor, they set out to design a portable compressor that was better than anything else out there. So it's got a lot of upgraded parts. I'm actually using this as my main compressor right now. It's really easy to use. has some great features. So real quick, we'll unbox it and I'll tell you how it works. There will be a link in the description if you want to grab one of these. They're on sale. They're offering these right now for $250 off the original price. So you get a quality compressor, a bunch of accessories, an awesome bag. You can run this bad boy off your car, plug it in at home to a 110 volt wall socket, or even use a LiPo battery. The other thing I love about this compressor, you need to put oil in it every five times you fill your rifle. So for a lot of us, and I know for me especially, that's every time I use it. I fill my rifle up at least five times. Most other compressors are going to leave you having to grab that stuff off Amazon, which is basically called treadmill oil. It's pure silicone oil. But Donnie FL actually sends you a nice bottle of it so you're ready to rock and roll right out of the box. In addition, I'm going to tell you how to maintain your compressor. So every 30 to 40 fills, you need to perform maintenance on the compressor. Step one is you're going to clean these six connections. It can reduce the chance of damage or malfunction. Number two, you're going to replace the filter cotton core inside the water separator. So inside under the cover, there's an additional water separator. And all these parts are included in your parts bag. Number three, there's a bleed valve on the very bottom of the compressor. You're going to drain the waste oil and water from the oil drain valve to make sure the compressor is not in load status. Number four, locate the lubrication hole on the left side of the unit. Apply two to three drops of silicone oil every five fills or 1.5 hours of use, whichever comes first. That's crazy. I think you should only run this for five or ten minutes at a time. There's a temperature gauge on it, and mine actually, the whole display turns red and it shut itself off when it hit 50 degrees Celsius. So usually when I start off, if I'm inside, it's about 27 degrees, and I usually go ahead and shut it off when it reaches about 43. If I do it outside, it'll be about 17 degrees. This is in the wintertime, and that thing will go quite a while, but I do keep an eye on it, and when it reaches about 45 degrees, I'll shut it off. When you do shut it off, you want to let the fan run for two or three minutes, regardless of whether you're inside or outside. But the cool thing about it is that if you just leave the fan running, it'll shut itself off after five minutes automatically. In addition, this has auto shut off. So you just turn the compressor on, press that set button until whatever you want to adjust on here is blinking, and then adjust it, and then hit the set button. The top button is the power button. Then the next one down on the right side is the fan button. So you want to hit that and it's going to take a few seconds to start up and get to full speed. Only when that fan is running at full speed do you want to run your motor. So hit that, probably wait 20 seconds, hit that motor. And if you want to fill your gun to 230 bar, like on the JTS, you just set that sucker at 230 and it'll shut off. But especially when you're filling your gun up for the first time, you're not going to want to run that thing all the way through. Get it about half full, keep an eye on that temperature. But at least it does have the safety features built in. Mine turned itself off when it reached 50 degrees, and that was only because I had a really hot fire going. So it was pretty hot in my house, and I had it up on a counter. So Another really important thing is you never want to block this ventilation, so you can't stash this in a quarter. You don't want to put it on carpet because it's sucking air from the bottom as well. Inside here is actually a moisture filter, but you don't want to rely on that. If you're filling up an expensive gun like a FXM3 or let's say a Scout, boy, you definitely want to get what's called an oil water separator or a PCP filter, you can look it up on Amazon, eBay, all kinds of places, and it'll usually run you around 60 bucks. But that's got usually a couple cotton filters on each end, things about a foot long, but then inside you put moisture absorbing media, little balls that suck up all the moisture, and then you're making sure that even with a compressor that doesn't cost $3,000, you're still getting perfectly dry air pumped into your PCP. I trust this product so much that I will actually hook it straight up to my Scout Epoch, but I wouldn't want to make a habit of that. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Definitely, you can trust any Donnie FL product. He's one of the coolest dudes in the business. And anything that you get from Donnie FL, you know it's going to be top quality.
All right, everybody. That's it for me on this one. There will be a link in the description if you want to grab one of these. Like I said, they're $250 off right now. And uh, other than that, have a great new year. I'll see you in 2024.